Thanks indeed to Rastea. Thanks to uh, Big Sam from Eurosport there, uh, conducting an interview uh, in multiple languages for those guys. So we'll have uh, Leroy Johnson up against uh, Stofferidis next, a uh, heavyweight bout. It's a tournament style. We've had a super fight. That's a one-off. We're now about to see uh, men who are going to be uh, fighting for a place in the final this evening. So the winner of this next bout will have a second fight later tonight. Uh, three three-minute rounds again. Uh, Johnson, 33 years old, 120 kg, a big man, six foot two, 188. Uh, he's up against Stoffaridis, known as Hercules, the Greek competitor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your next it's, fight uh, is a well, part of our similar statistics uh, in terms of height, but a bit ladies lighter. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from the blue corner from the USA, Leroy Johnson. Leroy Johnson from Michigan. Big Leroy Johnson, he's uh, done all types of fighting now, come to kickboxing, perhaps a little than uh, some others. 33 years old, he's had 10 victories, so only one loss with no draws in his K1 rules kickboxing career. His trainer, Alan Fisher, is looking after him in the corner. He's uh, a big lump, that's for sure, Pete. He's a, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a huge his guy. Opponent. Uh, I'm quite surprised by his Giannis, quite surprised on his record. He's only got he's got ten wins and one loss, but he hasn't got actually got any knockouts. Usually, guys that kind of stature, they're bangers. You know, they they produce the big KO. Here's the Greek Hercules. Dancing away in the wings, Giannis Stoffaridis from Team uh, Karanakolis. Uh, trainer is indeed Mr. Karanakolis, who uh, has brought through a huge stable of great kickboxers. And this, his young heavyweight star, only 23 years old, 13 wins, five by KO, just one loss in K1 kickboxing rules. This, remember, a semi final. And uh, the second, second semi final will be coming straight after this. They will then fight again at the end of the night. Tricky now, Pete, and because gentlemen, introducing uh, we'll hear from our from MC first. Corner. His official height, 182 centimeters. His weight, 120 kilos. His record, 10 wins, only one loss, nine wins by way of knockout. Fighting for Michigan top team, USA, Leroy Johnson. Well, Pete, you, uh, you raised an eyebrow at the uh, stats we were sent earlier. Indeed, he uh, has done a lot of knockouts then. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought would be the case. Uh, wrong information there. Fighting for Karanakolis team of Greece, I give you Hercules Giannis Stoporides. Great Nick, your name. It is Hercules from Greece. So, big Leroy Johnson against uh, Giannis Stoffaridis. Uh, Johnson there in the blue corner with the blue gloves on. Uh, the young Greek is just getting his mouth got in. Pete, I was just about to ask you there before the MC started, uh, when you've got a second fight in the night, is there any way you would deal with this differently? Would you hold anything back in this first fight? Good luck. That's a tricky one. You can get draw and you get make the mistake of going out Going out all crazy, trying to get the fight over and done with. And if it goes on to three rounds, you're fatigued and in pain. you just got to fight like you'd normally fight and be trained ready to do another fight. It's just a hard... It's stuff. just a hard night. It's just a hard night. Hard, hard day in the office. Now, of course, you can see Johnson there. He's definitely carrying a bit of extra bulk, 120 kilograms. Um, so a very hefty guy, but uh, not all of it useful weight, perhaps. It's hard to say too much um, early on. But uh, Mr. Hercules, he looks the more composed so far. Um, Leroy Johnson, his stance doesn't look entirely comfortable for K1. Well, he's got a, a background in multiple things, MMA, wrestling. Yeah, that Johnson's explains it. Johnson's been there, done it all. But he's got some fast fists when he uh, unleashes them. 
And if they connect, he can be in big trouble. I've just spotted something there. I mean, uh, but yeah, he's just utilized, he's just taken advantage of it straight away. Uh, Leroy Johnson's uh, he's not defending leg kicks at all. In fact, he even flinched and turned his leg away. Hercules there can just destroy that lead leg of, uh, of Leroy Johnson. Stoffaridis just oh, conserving energy at the moment, stalking down his man. He's nice big knee. He's doing a wise thing there, you, you know. Mr. Johnson's got um, ten wins, nine knockouts. There's no point rushing in against the guy, such a dangerous striker. Well, I think that's just a slip. He uh, nearly slipped on one earlier. Those uh, advertising boards around the corner there. I hope he hasn't pulled his groin muscle or something. He stood on one and slipped over. Yeah, he's slow getting up. Is he hurt something? I'm not sure if the knee landed or he's actually hurt his knee, oh, slipping over. Me, uh, if you stand on one of those, oh dear. it's a knee, yeah, you could... Uh, anyone who's uh, damaged some ligaments on the inside of their knee know what, knows exactly what that's like. It'll feel very unstable if he's torn something. Um, and it'll be uh, a little bit embarrassing in some ways. <laughs> on with the magic spray, that'll, that'll heal anything. Uh, Let's hope Leroy Johnson is all right here. They'll probably give him a few minutes to, uh, to recuperate if he needs it. If he's okay, the ball continue. Oh, that's that's good news. See there, um, Hercules has just landed a nice leg kick there to uh, to Johnson's lead leg. Awesome combinations there. And Johnson stood on one of those advertising uh, boards. He's uh, living dangerously. He has such a wide stance, doesn't he? Certainly Oof, does. Takes another big kick to the midsection and a knee. And uh, Stoffaridis just looks so much better. Oh, goodness. That was a beautiful combination. I was about to say there, Stoffaridis has got to be very careful. He just doesn't start, start trading punches uh, with, uh, with Leroy Johnson. He's got to mix up the punches and kicks. It takes away the dangerous... Uh, the dangerousness of uh, uh, Mr. Johnson's hands. So he's had an eight count. Leroy Johnson with the blue gloves on then is being stalked down here by Stoffaridis. Not long in this first round to go. Can the Greek oh. finish off? He's down again. Two, three, four, five. That was a nice combination. That was a nice jab that put um, Johnson Seven. down there. So he raises his gloves, uh, you have to, after the eight count, and that's the bell. Oof. Couldn't come uh, uh, any sooner, really. Johnson will uh, enjoy his little rest here. Let's have a look back at the action. Stoffaridis coming in with a big knee there, and this is when he goes down, and uh, it's because his foot landed on one of those uh, boardings at the side. Again, he does it there, look at that. Oof. That was uh, a different part of the fight. Twice he went down on that. Uh, you can see people around the ring grabbing the boarding away from him. Uh, Pete, is, is it just the stance of Johnson? Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, you can tell he's fought different disciplines. He's too exposed, his legs are too exposed. He's uh, bouncing around way too much. I think um, Stuff Riders there was doing the, 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 the best thing by taking his time with the attacks. Now he's figured him out, and he's seen his uh, weaknesses, his legs. I think he's going to chase him down, put a lot of pressure on him. I think uh, with uh, Le Leroy Johnson, he's done amazing to get to 10 and 10 and 1 with nine knockouts. You can see how he's done it as well. But as you get those more fights, the caliber goes higher. And you need to be able to mix the hands, kicks, and knees together. So here we are coming up for the second round. Leroy Johnson Hi. of the USA. Hi. In the blue corner, blue gloves on Giannis Stoffaridis, the Greek Hercules, who definitely won the first round, the 23-year-old with the red gloves on. I think Steph Wallace has put him, he's, he's given Johnson um, all the chances he needs by exchanging hands with him. You know, that's Johnson's strong point. I think Steph Wallace needs to start attacking the back leg, uh, using his back leg. There we go, just like that. Start attacking the body of Johnson and the lower leg, and eventually go for the head. Just like that. What 
<laughs> Joss is throwing everything back at him. He's going to burn out soon, though. We are uh, less than a minute into this second round here. And I think Johnson's thinking, I've got to try and stop this soon, or uh, I'm going to be in big trouble. And here we go. Maybe he's uh, run out of energy already. I think it's about time to move those advertising boards back. That's the third time uh, Leroy Johnson's had a bit of a slip on those. Oh, my goodness, that's no slip. That's a jump big knee, and it landed flush. Well, massive knockdown there. Johnson gets another standing count when he raises gloves. Has he had enough? Raise your gloves, there we go. He's, he's up for it. Well, sort of, anyway. <laughs> Blood coming from the nose. Here we are, Stefaridis. He can smell victory now. He's turned his back, and, uh, well, he's claiming a low blow there. This is an unfortunate part of kickboxing, but if your opponent's turning, turning round, it's, you know, it's no one's fault. These things do happen, and, uh, well, he's, he's had a tough night. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right into the groin there, no doubt about it, and he followed it up with afters as well. That's why it was turning away. Um, so, hopefully Johnson will be able to recover in time. I'm sure uh, half the population feel for him right now. Yeah, um, it's pretty... Fight safety is uh, paramount. They've got to have the, the protective cup on, and right now I'm sure he's very grateful he's wearing it. Yeah, Johnson's uh, chance here are big haymakers. This is why um, Stoff Wireless has not used those leg kicks. I haven't seen Johnson use one convincing leg kick in this uh, entire second round here. Stofferidis, he looks like a kickboxer. He's flying in with the knees now. Clinching behind the head there. He's got to be careful. See, the referee just pulled him on there. It's uh, K1 Rules. He's got to clinch. And he only allowed one knee on this show. One knee. The benefits of this are it speeds up the action, makes it a, be a better ske uh, spectacle. Target are in his sights now. Stofferidis coming in to finish this off. I'm not sure this will last much longer. I think he's had enough. That's it. Yes, the referee has stopped it in the second round. And uh, Johnson, no complaints from him. Stofferidis then has uh, saved himself. Yeah, Stofferidis has got up to 14 wins now. And there's no, like you said, no complaints from Leroy Johnson. None at all. Let's just uh, have a look at the action here again. Big knees. Oh, goodness me. That was a flush hit. Pete, it's just so effective, a flying knee. They're, they're some of the most powerful strikes you can land. It's uh, the strongest part of the body, the midsection. You know, uh, it's quite hard to explain. You've got leg kicks getting hit with a bat around the leg. You know, a knee in the face, especially a jumping switch knee. I guess it's just the sheer weight behind it uh, just adds to the momentum of the knee in your head or your body. Uh, and if you are getting that kind of treatment, so what are you leaving exposed? What would you go for uh, if you are doing flying knees? If I was throwing a flying knee, I'm open for a big overhand. A big overhand is, is what you would be chucking back. Yeah, that's the counter to that. Good performance there by... Uh... Hercules. Yes, Giannis Stofferidis, winner by a technical knockout. And it's all hugs at the end. Stofferidis will march on to the finals Presenting at the end the of the award. night. And we'll find out who will be up against Super So the American Johnson, he's off for an early shower. I think he's pretty grateful for it as well. He's <laughs> really had to fight for. Uh, Everything tonight, he's uh, away. Stofferidis goes on.